Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a terminal imager and it was sent uh, to me by uh, Banggood, so uh, I can have a try. And it is from uh, No Java and it is the NF521. And uh, you have different types of uh, thermal imagers and mostly it is about the resolution. And you can already find them for 40, 50 dollars. But if you look well, it says, ah, the chip is like half a megapixel or one megapixel. But there are actually two chips. One is an optical and one is the temperature. And these cheap ones are usually eight by eight pixels for therm thermal imaging. And uh, this one is 32 by 32. And I think it costs around 160 dollars, I think. Um, and I'm, but I'm not sure if it's a lot 32 pixels or not because you can also buy from uh, 265 by 192 or well you have several and it's more and more now more is better of course but uh, is it uh, sufficient to 32 by 32 so uh, let's have a look what we actually received so what did re we receive well nice box explains shows uh, a few previews what you can see with the device it doesn't say the brand but it is the uh, no java specifications right here well if you can see the chip is uh, 32 by 32 for imaging and i think it is one megapixel for the normal two megapixels for the visual camera even uh, well, different type of images you can do the rainbow or the red or the black and white it can store pictures in bitmap it can do temperatures minus 20 to up to 400 celsius uh, you can even change from celsius to fahrenheit if you want and uh, the display is 320 by 240 so that is Okay, it has a battery and it even has a 8 gigabyte micro card included. So let's see if that is true. Oh, look at this. It even has a nice case. That is nice. Here it is. Oh, it's huge. Look at this. Well, it looks like if it would be kind of rubbery, but it is not. It is just plastic. Well, here you have the two sensors. One is the thermal and one is the visual SD card. Yes, it. Oh, it's even a proper one. How much is it? 16. They put even. Okay, thank you. USB. Probably to charge and hopefully also to take out your photos. Sticker, oh, good. Quality control. USB to charge. And the manual in English. Look at that. All the type of pictures you can do. And well, you can do only thermo, and you can also combine the thermo with the visual settings, day, time. Okay, well, let's just switch it on. Probably this green button. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, this 3232 is a bit blurry, but let's just see what it does. Okay, in the middle. You can see here what you are pointing at and the temperature is big and then you have two others with the minimum and the maximum and that of course will jump around depending on what you are looking at okay and with the trigger we probably make a picture Yes, we do. Cancel or save. 
if I push again, we have the visual. So we save. Okay. Well, let's see in practice how that works. So I will uh, make a little setup. I have here my uh, resistor load. And uh, now I have only one resistor. Now two, three, four to increase the load. But also in the first setting, only uh, this resistor uh, will of course uh, be hot. And then the two and then the three. And if it's all up, then they all are hot. So let's see if we can see that. We can go through all the modes. Uh, that, they, that there are with the uh, little colors. So let's have a look. Okay, power supply right here. Put it on the maximum. And uh, 3.2 amps. 15 volts, that will be okay because it will run into constant current anyway. Uh, resistors are all cold. Let's see what we see on the camera. You get it on. I think it goes by default. To rainbow. Well, the resistors, I did a little test, so they are a little bit, they are not cold. And if I point to it, then in the middle here, then that is the big number. And the min and the, the max and the min. So now it starts to be the normal view, what you usually see. And now it's only one resistor and we can also change a little bit the screen. So I can do the, now do the, the visual combine. And now it is really combined. Now it's only visual, and now I go back to Teramo. Now I switch the switch in, so the second resistor will also heat. And we should be able to see that too. Meanwhile, we can go through the colors. Okay, you can see the second resistor now heating. Let's go through other colors. This is the blue. This is black and white looks like x-ray here we have a rainbow oh, this is the rainbow this is nothing oh it's all hot okay this is the standard and with the top button we can do outline combined this is also combined but more visual and this is only visual Okay, let's see the third resistor. And the fourth. Let's see the whole stack. Then the other ones will cool down. And then the other resistor for slowly heat. And probably they are all uh, the same value, but they are 10% so or 5%. So one resistor will be the lowest. And they are now all in parallel. And then the, the lowest resistance will get most hot. And that looks now to be the second one. I have here this uh, distribution amplifier with a built-in uh, OCXO. It has been running now for a few minutes and as you can see it is almost there. So we should see the temperature difference between the whole PCB and this oscillator. Which is right there because it has a little often. So let's see if we can actually see that. Yes, clearly. Here with the combined picture. Let me make a shot of that. Most of the heat is produced one side of the oscillator.
Okay, that was fun to play a little bit with the uh, thing. And I like that you could see in the oscillator that it is kind of precise what is heating because usually you would just think, oh, the whole oscillator is heated, but you could really see here that it was only one part. And then, of course, after it switched on for half an hour, everything is probably getting hot. But now it was really concentrated in this one corner, so you can see. Um, I see here a few screws, so uh, let's open it up. Well, it looks to be that it are kind of torques or security torques. Um, but I do have my screwdrivers here. Let me see which one fits. No, this one doesn't. Mm. Yes, that seems to be one. Here it goes. Okay. Ooh. Well, <laughs> not much left. There is nothing inside. Ugh. There is just a display. Well, the fire button. sensors so maybe if you have a better sensor you can just put it here and then the electronics can probably just do that because the visual is also has a better resolution so they could make it a lot smaller well let's see what is with the sensors Okay, just a normal camera, and then apparently this heat sensor. Well, if you switch on first the device, and then you plug in the USB in the computer. It should create an, a drive. We can hear the sound. Ploop, and there it is. And it opens automatically all the images. So uh, let's see what images that we made. So we have the, the thermal, the 80 degrees as we saw. And this is the visual, so it it makes uh, two pictures every time. Here is my hand, that was the first one, and the visual. So that were some nice tests. I can see really some use for this one if you want to see if the power supply you created and the transistors you put on your heat sink, if it is cooling enough, if you can see that the heat is spreading like we could see in the little oscillator that it was only he heating in one part of course after it's been switched on everything will be heated but now it was really concentrated in one corner and you can uh, really see that and also with the resistors uh, they were in parallel all four uh, but one was slightly lower value so most of the current goes through that one and then you can see that one heats a lot so you can uh, debug also with this device. Uh, maybe it would have been nicer if it was a little bit more than 32 by 32. In the manual it said 
uh, that you can also film with this for 30 seconds. Then you need to push long on the trigger. And then somewhere you should see 30 seconds in the display. And then if you push again, uh, it will start to video. Um, I didn't get that to work. So maybe that is a change in the, in the firmware. Because this is hardware version 1. Firmware was 1 point something. So I don't know if it, they took it out after an update. Maybe it's not fast enough. Because also if you look at it when you move. It is not that fast, but uh, it is not made for that. Now it's really for to get the temperature image, and it doesn't need to be moving fast. And it is kind of a nice tool. Thank good. Thank you for sending me. I think it is a nice practical use. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.